Hey friends, it's Brittany at Ink and Papyrus. Thanks so much for joining me today. In this video, we are gonna be making these adorable retro themed Valentine Day cards. Um, these are perfect for putting in journals or giving to friends and family. Grab whatever supplies you have, mixed media, um, fabric, uh, papers, construction paper, digital images, stickers, stamps, whatever you have, grab it. In this video, I will be using some digital images and I will link some suggested digital images below in the description box. However, you can totally make these with nothing more than the materials you already have at home. So let's get to it. So first things first, depending on the supplies and images you're using, if that's what you choose to do, you'll want to decide on how large you want your cards to be. I have cut down some cards um, of different sizes. I'm using a uh, medium to heavy weight uh, cardstock. These are, I don't know, roughly three and a half to um, four inches by about three inches. Some of these are much bigger, um, five inches by, you know, five inches. Um, so whatever size you have will work. Get out your corner chomper. I think these look really nice with a rounded edge. And yeah, let's get started. Okay, since we already made a bee themed um, for our prototype here, I think we gotta make a bird themed. And I'm gonna show you how quickly these come together. Um, so grab, if you have some images of birds, that's perfect. Um, if you don't have anything Valentine themed, for example, well, I'll show you what to do. So for me, I think personally, um, birds and music go together so well. So I'm going to take some washi here. And don't think too hard about this. Um, you'll just get kind of tripped up. I think music, a bird's nest would look really nice. Some flowers always go really nice with birds. These roses and this bird stamp. I'm just looking. So I hope you guys are doing well today. I hope you are having fun and you are getting some crafting in. I'm really getting in the Valentine's Day spirit, as you can see. So I have been doing my fair share of Valentine um, theme crafts, but you know, whatever floats your boat. Okay, I think this is a good start. found some printables of some eggs. These are from the Graphics Fairy. Um, and this one is I'm not sure. Um, this is a dictionary page I found. It has the word hummingbird. So I think I'll print that out. So there are a whole lot of things you can do without getting quote unquote Valentine Day um, printables and such. We just want to have fun today. Let's not be too serious. Just have fun. Look at these two happy little birds. I think this loves greeting heart goes perfect. Oh, and maybe, oh, maybe since this is a little guy here, we will collage him on to make it look like they have a whole bird family. Wouldn't that be so precious? Okay. Just greeting. I don't know if we'll fit them all on here. Do I have a bigger? Card. Yes, I do. Let's give them the big card. Oh, that's so cute. Okay, 
Yeah, we're definitely going to make them a whole happy family. I do have this We Make Beautiful Music Together. Okay, let's go back to the original plan. I want to collage this little guy on. Make them a whole bird family. Oh, and he'll be like in between them. Oh, like the baby bird. These are some pre-stamped hearts I have that I I literally just stamped on paper. I think I'm going to cut a couple of these out and put them on the washi. Maybe we'll call this a dip. No, you know what? I have this border. This is from the Doodlebug collection. The birds and the flowers going on well. I just dropped a bunch of whole random stuff on my desk, or threw it on my desk, and it was like, if it's red or it's pink, Definitely do something with it, and that's kind of what I ended up doing. Okay, um, let's grab, I was gonna say let's grab ink, but I have this paint based pen. So I'm just gonna go around with this, if we can get to, oop, oh man. All right, well, that wasn't in the plans, but it is now, I guess. Oh, I love, love this paint pen. Oh, that's 
a nice texture, just look to it. Very bright. All right, maybe we'll do a little red at the bottom too. Let's get this so it doesn't get on paper. this. I think I got it at the thrift store. Yeah, I think I got it at the thrift store. Oh, I like this. Alright. That's a whole lot of color right there. Okay. Wow, so cute and that was so easy. And look how cute that is. love it. Maybe, um, you know what, I want to go around the birdies a little bit and give them a little bit of pop. This is just a General's Charcoal Pencil. So if you don't have, if you don't want to pay the money for the digital images, um, or you don't have any, I, like I said, I will, um, I will link this. I think these digital images are from KB and Friends. Some of them are from the Graphics Fairy. I will link them in the description box below. But you can find retro style images um, online for free, and they don't have to be Valentine themed. You could just the the theme is a retro valentines but you can um print out some retro styled uh images and um just with some other pre-stamped ephemera and some pink and red paper we can easily make these valentine themed um so no worries you don't have to pay for digital images um and actually one of my year's, New Year's resolutions was to limit, don't hate, limit the number of digital images I'm using. Not because I don't like them, I love using them, and here I am using them today. I just think sometimes I am a little over-reliant on them, and it sometimes hampers my creative process, I think because I start making ephemera to accommodate the image instead of making kind of what my mind thinks up, if that makes any sense. That may have been completely nonsensical, um, <laughs> but yeah, I don't know. Craft the way that makes you happy. Okay. Oh my gosh, guys. I love that. Look how cute. All right. So look at he split two retro themed Valentines together. Okay. What theme should we, I'm just setting these aside to dry. What theme should we do next? Um, you know what? I have a travel, um, some travel ephemera over here. Um, I have this piece, I'm cutting it out right now, but, um, I, the words are love is in the air and I thought how perfect two people in a plane and love is in the air. Okay. 
so I got some other um, images because I thought, well, how perfect for a travel themed Valentine card. Um, probably don't need any more words since we already have the love is in the air. Maybe like a ticket. Does any of this look like a ticket? Mm. This is baggage. Like you can clearly see baggage there. I will really use that. really uh, you can make these look at anything that's like hearts or pink or red cupid I think that is all like perfect that's all you need to make these look good um blue I have some blue ribbon here maybe we'll use that Put that aside. I'm just gonna look and see if I have any other little ephemera bits in here I want to use. I have 14. We'll put a number on there. The point of this is just to give you guys some ideas for how you can put together these adorable valentines and how I think you can do them pretty quickly without a whole lot of fuss. Oh, and maybe an arrow because they're obviously, that's the way they're traveling. Okay, why don't we do, why don't we start there? And we're gonna do some collage. Um, and we're just gonna, we're gonna use the blue. Okay, this is all green. Why don't we do some green to actually tie in? This baggage tag I have it looks a little bit, I'm not going to lie, it looks a little out of place. Okay. Don't yell at me for using my brown dauber in the green, guys. It's not that serious. Oh, did I lose something? I hope not. Oh, you know what would be fun? Like some travel stamps. And I did grab some in anticipation of possibly needing it with this plane here. Let me pull out some of those. I'm gonna do some stamping. Let's see. Okay. some word stamps and um, I had some postage stamps music I think the, I think the postage stamps would be a nice addition um, union post I'm looking train do we have any plane like P-L-A-N-E stamps I don't see one. Um. Hmm. How about this Union Post? Let's do a paid Eagle Post. Like, fly. Okay. Let's use that. Okay. All right. Let's do 
some stamping on here. I don't think these words are very discernible, which is good. It's, I don't really want to get too busy. I'm stamping off the edge there. Okay, perfect, I love it. And then let's do, um, let's get this green stamp here. Oh, nice. Okay, paid eagle post. Perfect. Perfecto. Okay. Let's get our peeps. Now, you know what? Let's do, let's put our topper on first. I just really like the mixed media look. Um, and I think it just adds, like I love adding texture to things. After all, these are supposed to be mixed media Valentine's Day cards. Oh, and how cute since they're up in the air. Maybe we'll add a little, okay, if we're not getting too busy, which we may be there. Okay, we're gonna add the, where's my, oh. Mm, you know what, I'm gonna put this on first because I kind of want this in the background. This baggage tag. Okay, I'll just kind of put that off to the side there. Somebody left the glue open last night. I have no idea who that would have been. Wasn't me. Yeah, it was me. The little glue gremlin stuck in my office and took off the cap. Happens all the time. These are so much fun, guys. We're just crafting away here. I wonder if we should back this with something, because it's kind of hard to look at just as getting a little bit lost. Hmm. What should we back that with? Or what if we put 14? here. Ooh, that's cute. But maybe since it's a plane, we should have the plane flying high. And this down low. Oh, yes. Love, love, love. And I'm going to have the plane kind of overlap the package tag. Or maybe we'll have this. No, the words, the number is too much. Maybe we'll overlap baggage tag with that. Too much, maybe. Okay. You're going down. I'm just gonna look like the torn look. And um, when you tear paper, I'm sure you guys know this, it soaks up the ink better. So I think I'm gonna ink this up to make it pop a little bit more. Oh, I 
we leave that, yep, leave that side straight. Oh, nice, yes. Okay. Oh, beautiful. Oh, I love that. Yes, okay. Oh my gosh. I just looked down and I have two glue sticks right in front of me. How much glue does one person need, right? Oh, these are so cute. I could make these all day, literally. Oh, guys, this is adorable. Absolutely adorable. Oh my gosh, so cute. And this was like so simple, so easy. Okay, so we have a air to like a travel one. We have a bird one. We have a bee themed one. Why don't we do a romance one. Yes, let's do a romance one. Okay. I need a bigger card. Let's see, is that sufficiently large enough? I think it's gonna have to be. All right, look at these two crooners. I have these cute little flower buttons and pink buttons oh darling yep 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 oh and i have this oxide ink let's give this a spray i just opened this just give some little thing okay and now I'm gonna mop it up because this ox oxide takes forever to dry when you um, leave big clumps like that. Okay. Just gonna do this. Okay. Oh, so cute. Okay. We just mop that right on up. Okay. So. Let's see. Oh, I have this really cute fabric. Um, what shall we do? What shall we do? We have this uh, trim. Oh, that could look really cute. And uh, what if we put... Where's that button? Is that just what fell off my desk? I'm afraid probably I'll never find it again. Oh. Darn it. Oh, you know what? You know what I did find? The whole word that inspired me to make our last card. <laughs> I forgot to put this on. Did I really do that? Oh my gosh. <gasps> this is the entire reason I made this card. Okay. Out of control. I don't think my coffee is hit yet. I'm sorry. I'm just gonna apologize at the time. The entire reason I made this card was to put that on there. Okay, I'm glad I looked on the floor. Back to this card. I was looking for the button that I dropped, but that's okay, screw the button. Look at these little hearts I have. I think I got these at the dollar store, I don't know. Or Michael's, maybe. I've been hoarding them for so long. Oh my gosh, look how cute. Oh. I found another little button. What if we do pink and red? Or we just make this pink entirely? What should we do? Oh, this is darling. Look at these two crooners. Oh, 
and maybe oh, I found these pink tickets. Maybe we should make it like a ticket to their show. Oh my gosh, yes. Okay, okay. Okay. Um, should I ink this up? Yeah, I'm just gonna ink it up just a little bit. And maybe we'll put just a little bit more of that music washi down because, yeah, clearly the concert. Um, now I want to see, did I have, I thought I had some more music ephemera in here. Something about music. Oh, I'll never find it again. Look at this cute ephemera I found. Oh, God bless you guys that like fussy cutting because, oh my gosh, it is not for me. My cutting leaves something to be desired, but that's just because I got lazy and, you know. Well, I thought I had something music related in here. Maybe I don't. Well, you know what? We will make something up. We shall and we will. Okay, so let me... Oh, I have this extra washi just lying here. Okay, definitely need some music washi here. I normally glue... Um, put some glue on my washi before I put it down, but this washi actually is really quite sticky. It typically does not let me down. Okay, you can see that. And I had a music stamp. Let me find, I have that on the floor. I knew some of the stuff I knew I would want for this video. Okay, beautiful. So we have some music down. Let's put this first, because I know this is gonna add some bulk. Okay. Getting out the glue. Guys, I think it's it's the layering of the different mediums that make these cards so stinking cute. Just use what you got. Even without Digi um, kits, I'm telling you, these are adorable. Like you could get two, like this, it doesn't have to be, it could just be old timey images and you can make them into Valentine's cards. They don't have to be specifically uh, ready-made Valentine digi kits. to use these in my journal and I think I might mail a couple of these to my good friends I don't know if they'll appreciate it as much as I would but like come on when was the last time you got a Valentine's Day card you know make somebody feel really special and loved we need more happy mail in this world the only thing anyone ever gets anymore is bills. Because nobody mails anyone, well, I shouldn't say no one, but hardly anyone ever sends anyone a card anymore. Just like, hey, I'm thinking about you. 
or hi, happy Valentine's Day, you know? You know, you know? All right, the ticket to the crooner show. Oh my gosh, guys. Do you like this as much as I do? Seriously. Oh, and even if you had a little flower, like a dried flower, to put like over her, you know, like around her hair. I, I don't know. I'm just, I'm thinking these are so cute. So stinking cute. Um, kind of want to ink this a little bit around the sides. I have Kitsch Flamingo Distress Ink. I'm just looking for oh, a pink daughter and I found one. Johnny on the spot here. I might sew some of these off camera. I don't know, they look adorable as is. Um, but like, I have a lot of stuff on this one, for example. Um, so maybe I'll go in just and sew down here to secure this trim and the heart and the um, ticket. So cute, right? Okay, I think we have time to make one more. Let's make, okay, I don't know. Shout something out. Help me, help me, help me. What should we do? What should we do? Oh, I actually already decided. We're going to make a dog one. I love my doggies. I love, love, love my doggies. Okay. Um, okay, I found this. Something is wrong with my printer. I'm going to have to dress this. This is from the Graphics Fairy. This is like a, it's called Dog Days of Summer. And I saw this. And it says Pups and Kisses. How cute. Okay. Guys, I also went in my paper punch drawer and found some negatives of, well, of these um, dog bones. I thought we could use one of these. And um, some punch outs of dogs. And I have some pink ones. And a blue one. I don't necessarily have to use all these things. I'm just showing you some options, some ideas. Okay, I was thinking we would do, I love this as using these negatives as trim. So I was thinking we could do some trim top. And some trim on the bottom. And we'll do some layering. I also brought one of these buttons I made. I don't know if you saw the um, video I did making pretty paper buttons. 
and I thought, man, this would look really cute on a card, especially if you like slow stitched it on. It might we might be getting a little too busy here. Is there really such a thing? Oh, Cupid's Messenger. I love this. Okay. So let's put our puppy down. I think we know we're going to want him front and center. I hope you guys are now working on your own Valentine's Day cards. These are so much fun. You are missing out if you are not making these yourself absolutely missing out okay and um what's the puppies pups and kisses and we could do like could put these puppies like kind of pretend they're the pups you know have them all like facing each other like a butt sniffing train <laughs> you know you know pups and kisses okay maybe maybe we'll do two maybe we'll do this and have one facing the pups and kisses and the other facing the other way oh my gosh yes that's the winner This reminds me, I'm actually working on a memory book for my dog right now. He has a couple um, where I just keep ephemera from like old, um, like his favorite treats, like the packaging, um, you know, uh, pictures of him, obviously things he likes, um, and journal in it. And uh, I want to share that I have actually have a couple because he's, you know, he's. Um, like our everything he's absolutely adorable and amazing um and he's special enough to get his own memory book so i think i'm on like my third one so i we take so many pictures of him he's so handsome we're constantly running out of room you know but i would like to show you guys because i think some of you might be interested in making your own memory book for your dog um because you know, it's so nice to just keep memories um, and pictures of them in one place. Because, you know, they brighten up our lives and bring us so much joy. Okay. So, and that's why I actually bought all these dog punches. Because, you know, for his memory book. Okay. Um, I want to incorporate this dog bone. I don't think that will like fit in his mouth, will it? No. Okay, maybe we'll... I also got a sticker of this dog bone. I'm wondering if it'll like fit within here. I don't know. kind of does actually okay let's go for it
Okay. I think it's missing something. It needs spruced up a little bit. Um, we already have some words on there. This is from, I think, one of my doodle bug kits. Um, why don't we, let's see. on there. Okay. Um, I don't, I'm not thrilled with how that looks. I'm going to take this off. I think I messed up the cut. Um, okay. I like that better already. And I kind of want to draw around the hearts. Doesn't have to be perfect. These are some kind of pastels, I think. I don't know if you're supposed to wet these or not. Let's see what happens if we wet this. just want to outline these pretty little hearts. I don't know if this is, these are the pastels that kind of blossom as you add water to it. They actually seem pretty water resistant. Okay, we're getting a little blossom effect here. Okay, guys, I think this is really cute. This is one that I think could use some extra something. So I'm gonna sew this real quick. Okay, I'm really glad I sewed this. I think it gave it the added touch that it needed. So guys, I hope you had fun crafting along with me. I absolutely love these retro themed Valentine cards. Ugh, oh, so adorable. The printer one has to be my favorite. So if you enjoyed this, please like and subscribe. My videos come out on Monday and Friday, and I can't wait to see you the next time.